Hey, what's going on everybody? Red Ronald Music here bringing you another video. Today we have another new game on the channel. It's called Radiant One. It's a game about lucid dreaming and like some crazy stuff that goes on in this man's dreams here. And we're gonna get into it. I've been trying to slip into a lucid dream for several days now, and today I think I'll manage it. I'm going to imagine myself playing the piano, straining the muscles of my two fingers. It will help me fall asleep faster. I need to concentrate. I was about to play Runaway by Kanye West. That's that first note there. <laughs> Alright, now we're going to sleep. I love the art style of this game. I think it's awesome. I love the soundtrack to this game. This little ambient stuff going on. It's awesome. This game comes out when you're seeing it right now. Today, uh, July 30th. It's on Steam. And then... It's on Steam, the iPhone, I think, the Androids, and then comes out on Xbox in August sometime. I don't know the price. I don't even know if it costs anything. It's an awesome game. So weird. Is it a dream or reality? Can I breathe with my nose and mouth closed? Alright, so now this guy's trying to find out if he's asleep or if he's living. Definitely I can. Now I need to look at my hands. I did it. Finally I did it. See, the whole game is played by, like, this thing that pops up on the screen here. Or you just click to wherever you want to go. At first I was confused by this logo up top because I thought that was the triangle button on a PlayStation controller and I thought I needed one of those to play it, but we're good. Right now we're flying over the ocean with some seagulls. We're out here doing it. Radiant one. Imagine that. That must be crazy. <laughs> now I can do whatever I want every day. Your dream has come true. You have learned to control your dreams. You can imagine anything and it would happen. You never went a day without entering into a lucid dream, increasingly unable to tell dreams from reality. The boundaries were blurring away until one day, you pass the point of no return. I dig this man's apartment layout. He ain't he doesn't have a bed or anything like that, but I I like it. It's been a hard day. All I want now is to get some sleep as soon as possible. Set that alarm. Like I said, hit the sheets, but he ain't got no sheets on his couch bed. Got that eerie music coming on. That shadow work off that lamp and that plant, that's crazy. Got such a little detail in this game, it makes it awesome. By the way, the door said, who is it? I didn't read it. <laughs> what? I don't understand, how did I get in this hotel?
What's happening? Red curtains. I have a bad feeling about this. Just turned into some twin peaks out here. Let's pick a door. What the hell? What the hell is that thing? Get off me back, Grim Reaper. Oh, he's jumping us at the door. What a player. Got them lunges. We on our ass. Oh, we got smacked. Oh, snap. My hand, it's bleeding. I think I had some bandages in the bathroom. Turn it into some nightmare on Elm Street over here. Get on in there. Your wound was real. You, do, you really don't understand what's happening. Your head is now exploding with lots of questions to which you have no answer. But there's one thing that concerns you most. When you go to bed next time, will this thing come again? And if it comes, what are your chances of escape? You bandaged your wound, and then you phoned your office and told them you were taking the day off. Before nightfall, you need to collect as much information as possible about what to do in this situation and how to avoid it. I don't know if you guys have ever had, like, a lucid dream, but those things are weird. <laughs> I've searched all over the internet, but I still can't find any trustworthy accounts of someone being wounded in a dream. Watch that Nightmare on Elm Street. There's not one out there that doesn't sound like the ravings of a madman. Am I the one that's going mad? Somebody's knocking on our door. Now the thing is, is I don't know if we're awake or actually asleep. We'll hit up the door. We'll take our chances. Pizza. It's got pizza boxes all over the goddamn place already. What is that? There's like two there. There's one here. There's one here. This one that we just got. This man's packing those things away. I'm scared. I'm really scared to fall asleep again or to find out that this is reality. Or that this reality is just another dream. I need to find out how I can make myself wake up. Gotta check the book. First of all, let's set this before we just die. Okay, I guess we can. To the book! You've read this book multiple times but never paid attention to the chapter on how to make the dream come to an end quickly. Some of the tips seem ineffective, others are things you have already tried to follow in your dreams subconsciously with no success. The advice that grabbed your attention was the idea of that you're supposed to find something in your dream that usually makes you wake up, like an alarm clock or something with a similar sound. Your brain would respond to a familiar sound and you would wake up. Sounds pretty legit. Late at night, you still decide to go to bed, hoping the nightmare will not happen again. This stuff's true. My friend fell asleep on the mic on Xbox one time, so I played an iPhone text message sound to the thing and he woke up. <laughs> I thought as much. At least now I know a way to get out of here. I need to find something that sounds like my alarm clock. There's like a little tiny buzzing sound. I don't know if that's my headphones or if it's the lights or something or maybe like the sound. The music's crisp, so I don't think it's that. I was wondering if it was the lamps. I don't know. Maybe it's just my PC. Strange, this door doesn't have a handle. I really like this art style though, it's clean. I'm playing in 1080 right now, I was in 4K last night when I was trying it out, it looked good. Here's the handle you were looking for. You got the door handle. Let's ride.
I like how the door had the handle on it after we got the handle. Okay, this is a large creature now. Let's get the hell out of here. Click that spaz button over there. Let's dip. First door. We're getting cut off over there too. Damn, they almost got me. What now? Looks like we're gonna have to take a jump there, sir. Busted your ass. This guy's got them hops. Alright, I guess we're gonna have to get that fire alarm. Oh, we're getting ran up on here. We got out. Slide to the bathroom. Still like this reflection of the shadow with the plant. You've received confirmation that sleep is deadly for you, so you decide to hold out without sleep for as long as possible. It will be difficult given that you've hardly slept last night. In the morning you went to the store and bought a large supply of energy drinks. You stayed at home all day struggling with drowsiness. And as bad luck would have it, it the rain poured down incessantly. And so, when it already was the dead of the night, we passed out. Man tried to stay up all night. What a lightweight. Now we're like floating. You can tell if we're in space or the ocean. Well, that's a big ass whale, so I guess we're in the ocean. Imagine that. <laughs> I want some VR stuff like this where you just like sit there and you have like some crazy crap go on. Like you go from like space to the ocean to flying out of like a building or something and then like space again and all this. This would be crazy. Like if they somehow redid this guy's like story here without or in like first person with some VR, that'd be wonderful. Pick that up. I'll go out and buy VR right now. What the hell is that thing? I keep skipping these things by accident by trying to walk. <laughs> Said something about it just being darkness and you can't see anything. What are all these like floating people with like umbilical cords to their head? Maybe those are other people having dreams at the same time. All these little sparkle things again from the first scene. No way. This is my childhood home. Alright. It's a friendly looking door. Okay, this is awesome too. There's just some aesthetic to this that's very like 1980s. That looks awesome. We're on the second floor. No power. Overlook Hotel. Danny, come down to the basement. I'll show you something. Spooky. Sounds like it to me. Some Pennywise. Doors locked. Danny, I'm here. But you're not serious, then. Don't don't play with my emotions. This is so strange. I recognize my brother's voice. He was calling me to the basement. Like the basement itself is calling me. Spooky. Get up these stairs. Wait, how does that door and these stairs both go to the basement? That doesn't make sense. 
basement's locked. If I remember correctly, my mother kept the key in the cabinet. Slide to the cabinet, then. Hmm, usually my mom kept the key to the basement here. Did I get this one wrong? Okay. Slide to the back door, then. See, I'm not a fan of having your keys by the door. Like, if somebody wants to steal something from you, like, they have no effort. Like, all they have to do is get through this, take that, and just walk back out. You want to make it an obstacle course. What's up with the table? The dining table was where the whole family would get together. What an odd feeling. I understand that inside a lucid dream, everything is supposed to look very real, but to be in my childhood home, it's creepy. Why is it creepy? Get a grip. How do we get here? Okay. It's weird when these walls disappear. I didn't know if I was going to walk into a wall. Oh, the sofa. Just as soft as I remember it. Think about all the great evenings we had on the sofa. Most of all, I remember that Christmas when... Damn, where did that sound come from? Damn it, the sound was coming from the basement. I remember we had a piano down there. Okay, I'd better off taking it easy. I need to get back to finding the key. Can we get outside? Can't get outside. Alright, where the hell is this key? The TV's like the last thing. TV on the second floor was mine and my brother's. This one here is a family one. We'll see. Oh, let's see if the old thing is still working. Hmm, it doesn't work, but I can use its power cable for the video player. Cool. It's from the bathroom. We've got an item. The basement key. Oh, but we're getting jumped out here. Get on out that door, son. What the hell are these ghost things that's going with this man? It's like those things from that Harry Potter movie. Leave him alone. That was close. I was running so fast the key fell out of my pocket. Wait a minute. You've got an item. The closet key. This isn't the same key. What a weird dream. The closet? It's the room on the second floor. I guess I need to go there. Peep this thing. Is this gonna wake us up? These things are so weird. <laughs> Bit salty. I've never had salty rain. Hell are we now? We've got it. We look like Jim from the office. Oh, I guess we're at work. Look who's here. I've been waiting for you. Did you have a good trip? What a hell of a storm we're having. Follow me. I'll show you the way to our workplace. We've got a lot of work to do. Sounds awful. Let's go anyway. What? That's literally where we were just standing, is it not? I brought our friend, you might as well not report him for showing up late today. It's excusable in such foul weather. Yeah, his name is Question Mark. Yeah, the storm is terrible. Can you imagine my brother's car hit the ditch and turned upside down because of this gush of water mixed with mud? This is happening today in Ventura County. Fortunately, my brother's okay. Goodness, my parents live in Ventura. 
I wonder how they're doing there. Anyway, work won't do itself. Let's go, mate. We've got a lot of work to do. What the hell? Where are you looking at? Come on. Got a lot of work to do. Stop telling me I got work to do. That makes me want to go home. I'd rather fight those creatures in my sleep. Even though we're technically sleeping. What? <laughs> Alright, I'd consider doing this job if this type of music played every time it did work. Oh, this is awesome now. I'm working hard already, I don't know if you can hear this. How far are we supposed to go? We're already a five-star employee. Better than the rest of these saps with their generic white shirts. I'm working hard, damn it. My hand is hurting. Okay, I see it's like giving us more resistance. Let's let it die. I think we'll do all right. Why did I stop? I could just wake up. Wake up. I don't want to work. What just happened? Everything's a lure, and why do I feel so tired? I'm back on the second floor, and I got the key to the closet. We can hit up this video player though. We got that thing. Oh, I was confused. I didn't know there was like a hollow ceiling there. I thought there was like books on the roof. I hadn't thought it was in there. Why was he so obsessed with fixing that thing? I thought we were gonna watch something. Come on. Get a grip. This was my room. Too bad it's locked. Well, where the hell's the closet? Is this the closet? I thought this was the basement. No, it's his brother's room. Oh, that's a separate hallway. Okay, well, I assume this is where we gotta go, since this is, like, visible. We just didn't hear anything about this room before. Didn't do it was gonna be the other ones. Whatever's happening here, it can't be by accident. It's like someone's putting this tape right into my hand. Halloween. Alright, it's a home video about Halloween 96. Let's see. Oh, I guess that kid in the office was him. Steve, I can't find you. Where are you? The basement. I like this, too. It makes everything seem bigger when he's looking at everything as a, like, youth. Are you sure? Yes, you need to see this. Oh, just because of the way it's, like, zoomed in now, it looks bigger than it was before. I like that. That's cool. Where are you, Steve? What is he, in the piano? Still not how to play, but my mom said she'll teach me soon. 
What the hell is this? Steve, where are you? We're back to Twin Peaks, I guess. Blinking. Steve. The Bodman. Okay, enough. I don't want to watch any further. That day was like a nightmare and I'd forgotten all about it, but now I remember what happened. When I was six years old, my brother scared me by dressing up in a blank cloak, but I still can't understand why I'm dreaming this now. Video's going long. And there's gonna be like a checkpoint somewhere. What is in that door? Oh snap. I saw that thing. The Rubik's Cube. This is my brother, so little, why is he crying? What you want about, mate? Steve, it's me, Danny. Why are you crying? Danny? Danny! <laughs> I'm sorry. It's all right, Steve. I stopped being angry with you a long time ago. We were just kids back then. Touching. I didn't mean to frighten you so much, but because of me, you now have nightmares. Imagine this dream. <laughs> you might even die and it will be all my fault. What are you talking about, Steve? What you talking about, Steve? How do you know that I'm in danger? I know who's after you, Danny. You've gone too far trying to control your dreams. You caught their attention. Who are they? Who are you talking about, Steve? What do you know? These creatures, they live in dreams. They can't cross the line between dream and reality, but when the line blurs away in someone's mind, they come for that person. They come in swarms like moths drawn to the light. And what do they do? They feed on your fear and turn your dreams into nightmares. They take on the appearance of what scares you most. What an insightful youngster. You know today I'm going to stop being afraid of them. I'm going to look my fear in the eyes. Because I'll know it's my brother hiding under that costume and he really doesn't mean any harm. Right, Steve? Yeah, that's right, Danny. There's a full house moment right here. So then, will you go down to the basement and put an end to this? Yes, I'll do it. And what are you planning to do next? Maybe we could play together or watch some cartoons. Or get into the closet and play on the computer. I'm sorry, Steve, but I'll have to leave. In fact, I'm already 28 years old and this place is no longer my home. Why? Did you move to the house next door? No. To another street? To another city, Steve. Far away from here. Did you leave Portland? Well, then you probably need to go now. You know what to do, Danny. We're gonna whoop some ass! Busted uh, the Game Boy going on over here. Wait, Danny, while you're still here. Yes, Steve. You know you need to wake up. Wake up. You mean what I'm trying to do? What I'm trying to do now? Wake up from this nightmare? No, wake up in the real world. I don't understand. <laughs> reality is just like a dream, and dreams are just like reality. You can understand, but you can't live like this forever. When was the last time you talked to me? Well, somewhere around. You didn't forget about me, did you? No. There's no need to answer. I know all the answers to my questions. It's all because I am. It's all because you are. Nothing but your imagination. Nothing but my imagination. Wake up, little brother. This is getting trippy now. This is getting real trippy. This house still keeps me confined within its walls, but my brother disappeared when I realized that he wasn't real. This rain has stopped. These creatures are losing their power. I can feel it. I need to go down to the basement and put an end to my fear once and for all.
We're going in. I feel no fear anymore. Soon I'll be the only one who controls my dreams. Time to whoop some ass. Man's blending into the, into the wall right now. Steve, or whatever you are, I'm not afraid of you. Well, that never works out. I've seen all those bully movies and the... I missed. I missed clicked. My bad. <laughs> Let's try that again. You've seen all those bully movies that always confront the bully and then they get beat up? Never a good idea. Unless you're a UFC fighter or something. Unless you've got that jujitsu. Alright, let's try this one more time. What the hell is this? It's gone, it's finally gone. That's why I remember the red curtains. Bet this man feels so cocky, the rest of the house is gonna be filled with those things, it's gonna be funny. Nah, we're good. What a neglecting person. Just doesn't go visit his family. Unbelievable. Well, we finally woke up. That night, I can't believe it's over, that everything's over, damn. One of those ghost things are just gonna fly through the window. It's gonna be awesome. Today's such a beautiful morning, and to be honest, it's been ages since I felt so refreshed, refreshed after sleeping. So alive. How long has it been since we saw each other? Almost two years now. Ever since I left, it feels like I burned my bridges. Is he angry with me for this? Only one way to find out. Hey Steve, it's me, Danny. Guess we're just riding this one out. That was the game? I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. I thought there was gonna be more. Honestly, like I thought there was gonna be like more stuff to do in the future, but it's actually cool. This man used his dreams to realize he's actually neglecting his family. Very, uh, it's a very uh, tender moment there. Anyways, this was awesome. Uh, I recommend you check this out for yourself if you're interested. I don't know the price. I don't know what's going on. Uh, it comes out today, July 30th on Steam and phones, I think. And then on Xbox in August. This has been Radiant One. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is one of my longer episodes. Uh, yeah. If you guys like this video and want to see more games like this on the channel, let me know by hitting that like button below. And let me know what you thought of this game in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe so you can get notified for when I upload new videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you all next time. Peace. I feel like I'm giving a TED Talk with this music. <laughs>